Well, it sounds like a whale of a tail, but a report of an alligator next to a busy interstate proved to be true. RTV6 reporter Chris Prophet is live in Fishers with new information tonight on how a reptile's life on the run is now over. Chris? And Drew, alligators are a common sight in Florida, but not in Fishers, Indiana. On the opposite side of the interstate, that's where somebody saw this alligator. What it was doing there on Friday night is anyone's guess, but now it stays on the run or over. It was back in June when several people reported seeing what they thought might be a four to six foot long alligator in this office complex retention pond on the northwest side. They didn't necessarily say that they saw um, an alligator, but they saw a tail. Um, so they, they can't, really can't confirm based off of a tail, but um, we're definitely taking it into consideration. And that was the end of it until this 911 call came into the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department on Friday night. When police got there, this is what they found. A three-foot-long alligator that they think had been on the loose for weeks, perhaps even months, likely dumped somewhere by its former owner. According to the Department of Natural Resources, alligators are legal to possess in Indiana, but a permit is required if the reptile is five feet in length or larger. Whether this is what office workers thought they saw swimming in a pond four months ago and several miles away is anyone's guess. A gator that proved to be a survivor living off the land and just off the interstate. And the alligator was taken to a reptile rescue in Strawtown, just north of Noblesville. Police said depending upon the circumstances, the owner could face charges, but finding that owner probably just got a lot harder. Reporting live in Fishers, Chris Profit, RTV6.